What is up guys? Welcome to today's video. If you guys are all having a great week so far, it's currently Wednesday, February 16th. We just closed on our most recent project today. We actually closed on two different properties today. Uh, one of them is going to be saved for another video, but this one is our Mesa, Arizona property. This is actually probably one of the, it's a decent condition. It's not in the best area, but um, I think we have some margin on this one. So I want to give you guys a walkthrough, talk some numbers with you guys. This is actually the first time I haven't even walked the house yet. Uh, I just went in the living room, started filming my YouTube video. So this is going to be a tour for me as well. This is actually one of the first properties that we actually have never toured before, before we actually picked up the property. Um, so I actually have never seen it. I've never walked through it. I've only received pictures uh, from the wholesaler that we bought it from. First things first though, the wholesalers that we got them from, we work with them quite a bit. This, these are actually probably our main wholesale guys. They made a $41,000 assignment fee on us. So they locked this property up for $285,000. They sold it to us for $325,000, $326,000, I think. So uh, they made quite a bit of money on this transaction. Good for them. The last house we worked with them on, they made $7,500 on the assignment. So they're doing very, very well. Um, I don't even think we're gonna make $40,000 on this property. So if you guys can get these deals, lock them up and wholesale them, it is a very, very good uh, way to produce some income. So, and they didn't have to put any of their own money in. They didn't do the deposit. We did all of everything. We're taking all the risk on with this flip. They already got paid out. So uh, as a wholesaler, you can really make some good money with uh, little risk at all and none of your own money. But here we go. We got this $326,000. I believe after closing, I think we're at $329,000 is basically our cash to close. Let's start at the front door here. All right, guys, and this is the property. It is, I don't even know the square footage to be honest with you. Uh, there's no carport, there's a carport, but no garage. So this is basically the outside. It's not an enclosed garage. This is the living room. Looks like there used to be something here. I'm guessing they added this support beam in, took out a wall right here. I didn't even know um, until just now. So that's probably exactly what happened, but it's a pretty open floor plan. We're not actually gonna have to do really anything to the actual floor plan. I think it's a pretty open concept for the size of it. Three, two, I think. Um, I think it's like 1300 square feet. I honestly don't know if I think I have the electric, yeah, I don't know. It was supposed to go in our name, so it's a little bit dark. I apologize for that. That's one of the bathrooms. I'll probably throw a picture up for you guys. Here's one of the bedrooms. Super like well kept. It's just very outdated. Here's another bedroom as well. Windows look to be pretty original. I don't know when this was built. Um, and then here's the final room as well. You guys can't really see that. I apologize once again. It's a four bedroom, what the heck? One, two, three, four. This is the primary bedroom right here and the primary bathroom. Pretty good shape. We're gonna obviously have to uh, rework everything, get some new tile up there, um, get some new countertops, get rid of these cabinets as well, get a mirror instead of that, new light fixtures, all that kind of stuff. The um, neighborhood and the price point of this house, we may not have to do like super high-end finishes. It's not gonna be like one of our Gilbert properties or Scottsdale properties. Um, this is a very entry-level area that's probably gonna push about $400,000 because this would be probably about a $350,000 house, but it has a pool and a pretty nice backyard, no HOA, so hopefully it will um, be a good selling point for some people. Roof's in really good condition. Pool probably needs a little bit of work, but here is the backyard. Like I said, roof's looking good. Newer AC unit up there, not super new. I think it's like six or seven years old. Hopefully the pool's in good shape. Like I said, we actually never walked this property, so it should be interesting to see uh, how it goes with that. And then this is the outside as well with alley access, which is really nice. And then we got the side as well. ARV on this property, I honestly didn't even run the numbers. I ran the numbers obviously when we first were putting in our buying this property, but I just don't remember right now. 
Um, I'll put the ARV again on the screen with what we calculated at. I believe we are in the 420s for this property with like a $45,000 renovation budget if everything looks good with the pool and stuff like that. So we do have quite a bit of margin. Um, we can even spend about fifty to $55,000 if we need. Um, but yeah, that's it guys. So potential profit, we bought it for 330. Let's say we put 45 into it, we're in it for 375. After, close, after closing costs, we'll be in it probably 390 to 395 and sell it for hopefully 420 to 425, which leaves us with about a 30 to $35,000 profit. Um, on an original investment of about $360,000. So a little bit lower than a 10% cash on cash return, which is what we normally look for. Um, but should be a pretty straightforward project. It is on the older end. We don't tend to mess with like super old builds. This is probably one of the older ones in a very long time than what we've actually worked on. Um, but like I said, like it, the owner kept it in good condition. It just needs a lot of updating and um, we'll be good to go. So I appreciate you guys watching. If you guys ever want to work with Ricky and I on these, if you guys ever come across like a direct to seller lead, your neighbor, your coworker, your friend, um, anyone that you know that wants to sell their property and they want cash for it, uh, give us a sh give us an email, message me. Uh, we'll be able to give them an offer what we can buy it with cash, two week close, and we also will work with you guys on it, whether it be a rev split, so you guys get paid out, a finder's fee, whatever you guys want on it. We're trying to work with more people this year, so I'll see you guys soon, and thank you for watching. Drop a like.